Hey guys, what's up? It's your boy T, putting the G in Geek, coming to you with another episode of On The Hunt. You know, the weekly web series where I kind of tell you guys the hot books that I'm looking for. Now I gotta start this video off by saying, you know, this isn't really investment advice. This isn't really financial advice. You know what I mean? We're just trying to get some of the hot books to cover price. It's all for fun, so please don't spend your rent money. Another point of this video is to share information with each other, share information with me. I don't know what you're getting. I may want to get it. Day is young. It's the best day of the week. Comic day. So let's get right to it. We're going to get right into some books from Marvel, but before we do, I got to remind you guys, if you like this video, please like, subscribe, hit the bell, do all that good stuff. And with that, we're going to get right into Marvel. Only a couple books from Marvel I'm going to pick up this week, first one being Infinity Wars Ghost Panther number one. This is basically Ghost Rider on a Demon Black Panther, which is super cool. Uh, I really like how the Panther looks. I think I'm just going to go for the regular cover on this one because I do like how the Panther looks. Um, I hope it's a cool character. Seems like some sort of mashup. Hopefully that's really neat. Um, next book I'd pick up is Web of, Web of Venom Carnage Born number one. Again, just the regular cover. I do like the look of the cover. It's just the way it's kind of dark with the dripping carnage. It's pretty awesome. Uh, and it's also a new Venom comic from Kate's. So, I mean, you don't really want to miss that. Uh, he's always pretty good on Venom, so that's something I'm going to grab for sure. Uh, and that's all I'm going to grab from Marvel. Uh, sometimes people don't really like that there's only a couple books from like Marvel or DC. And honestly, I urge you guys to say in the comments if there's something good that I'm missing. You know what I mean? By no means am I perfect. So, hey, if there's something I'm missing, yeah, just comment below. Let us know. And like I said, I'll pick that up when I'm on my hunt. But that's all that's going to be from Marvel for now. Moving right along, we're going to hit up some DC. And a couple books I'm going to pick up from DC this week. First one being American Carnage number one. I don't always believe in crime dramas, but it might be a good story. Again, with certain stuff like this, you got to kind of have a look on the inside, make sure the art's on point. Um, if it is, I tend to find that it has a lot more legs to it. Uh, these new kind of properties, but the cover does look cool. It might be a really cool story inside, so I'm going to check that out. And next, I just move on to some covers. Uh, the first book I pick up for just the cover this week is Batman number 59, the Matina variant. Matina's baby for cover prize. You know what I mean? It's a nice Matina cover. Going to pick that up, add it to the collection for sure. Uh, next, I pick up Harley Quinn number 54, the Frank Cho variant. I don't add all the Frank Cho variants to my collection anymore, especially for the Harleys. Uh, I do love his ballpoint co covers, though, and I think this one's pretty good. I like when he kind of draws her in the gowns and whatnot. Um, I will pick this up and add it to the collection. Next book I'd pick up is Justice League number 12, the Lucio Perillo variant. Uh, I always like Lucio Perillo. Um, I really like this Aquaman cover. I find it's got some good details. Plus, it's kind of caught the Jason Momoa look, you know, with the movie coming and stuff like that. I don't know. It looks pretty cool. I like the trident, the colors, and the details, so I'm going to grab that. Next book I'd pick up from DC is Justice League Dark number 5. Now, this is the Clayton Crane variant. I really love how he draws the characters on this variant. You know, how he's got Wonder Woman and a couple of the characters really featured. Um, yeah, it's pretty cool stuff. And again, Clayton Crane on DC, you don't really see that much, uh, I'm sure maybe it's going to be a trend or something like that but it seems pretty cool and that's all i'm going to grab from dc next up image only really a couple books i've grabbed from image and really it's just one book with a couple covers and that is middle west number one i'm just going to grab the regular cover this is a new book by scotty young uh scotty young always has its fans i'm really actually liking the look of this cover too it's kind of got a really nice look to it um, it's kind of, it's really crisp in a way. I don't know. I'm going to grab that. And to go along with that, I would grab Middle West number one, the one to 20 Scotty Young variant. This one could be good for a quick flip. Uh, it's the only cover that features Scotty Young art. Um, and seeing that it's a variant, I don't really know how heavy stores went on this in this book. So right now it's going for 70 to a hundred online. Um, again, it's an incentive, so I'd kind of be careful with that. I only really mentioned it because it is going so crazy. 
Um, if you do grab the incentives and your intent is to flip, I mean this is a speculation video, I just want to remind you that they're really volatile, so you're going to want to move those books quick. I'm talking like I got friends who are like already listing it by the time they're in the parking lot. So, And that's what you have to do, you know what I mean? Because they just fall like quickly. Um, sometimes some of those high, pra pra high ratio variants... I actually just wait and buy it on eBay later. That's how far the prices drop at times. So, yeah, be careful with that one. But again, if you are kind of in that risky mood, who knows? Maybe you could find it somewhere for 10, 20 bucks. Well, probably not 10. It's a one of 20. Uh, 20 or so bucks and then flip that for 70, 100. That would be really cool. Um, that's all I'm going to grab from Image. Next, we're going to hit up IDW. And really, only one book I'd grab from IDW this week. And that is Judge Dread Toxic number two. The John Gallagher cover. Uh, this one isn't really as nice as the first one, but I still really like his art on these, uh, the art style on these covers. Um, I don't know if there's really going to be any movement on this one as it's not as nice as the number one, but I do like the detail in the art style on these. I do think Judge Dredd looks pretty badass on it, so I'm probably going to pick that up to go with my number one. And that's all I'm going to grab from IDW. Next up, Archie Comics. Really only one book I'm going to grab from Archie this week. And that is Archie number 700. This is a new milestone for Archie Comics. So, I mean, it could be something to have. Uh, I do like to grab big milestones of iconic series. So, I'm going to grab that for sure. Uh, just something small to pick up. You know what I mean? Just regular Archie stuff. And that's all it's going to do for Archie. Lastly, we're going to move on to Xenoscope, and really only one book I'm going to grab from Xenoscope, and again, it's one book with two covers, and that is Conspiracy number one. Uh, this is a new Xenoscope comic that's basically sold out, uh, it's supposed to be pretty popular, have a pretty good story in it. Again, if you're looking for anything even semi-long term, you're going to want to check the art in that, make sure it's something that kind of takes your breath away. I find those are the really the indie titles that have the staying power um, and to go along with that I'm gonna grab conspiracy number one the Mark Rosette Illuminati variant this is just a really cool cover I really like uh, I don't know some people sometimes call me tinfoil hat tea uh, I really like conspiracy theories and stuff like that especially about the government I like the all-seeing eye on this cover and I like the art style of it so if I see that around I'm probably gonna pick that up for sure and that's all I'm going to grab from Xenoscope. Well, guys, thanks for checking out another episode of On The Hunt. You know, if you like this video, please like, subscribe, hit the bell, do all that good stuff. Make sure you always check out SaddleCityComics.com. You know, we always have good stuff on there. Uh, make sure you always check out the channel. We're always trying to get new content up. I know it's not really working. We're really working overtime to get the store open. And once that opens, I'm sure we're going to have a lot more time for uh, hauls and stuff like that. So please just stay tuned. Thanks for bearing with us. Uh, I'd love to stay in chat with you guys. You know what I mean? But time is ticking. Got to get my butt out there and get these books. Hope you guys have good luck getting these books too. I'll see you next week. Peace.